All right, all right. Rough travels out here, eh? We even saw dark spawn on the way in. We're delivering a message to the Chantry in Denerim. You? We saw a blood mage down near the Brazilian forest. We're off to tell the Chantry about him. <laughs> I thought you said... Wait. You're serious? You look pretty tough, but we just fought Darkspawn. I think we can handle a few losers in armor. Let's see what you've got. back. I do not like this talk of possessions and spirits and... and magic. It is unnatural. The mages wait to perform the ritual. I do hope this is worth the time it has taken to assemble them. The mages are waiting to start the ritual. I've told you the only thing I can think of that might help. There you are. We have brought Lyrium and begun preparations for the ritual. We can start any time. Yes, we haven't sufficient Lyrium at present to send more than one mage into the Fade. It only works because the child gave himself to the demon willingly. If the demon takes over the host forcibly, we must slay the abomination. We have only enough lyrium for one attempt. I hope you succeed. Such a young lad deserves better than execution. It truly depends on the manner of demon. It sounds like a spirit of greed and desire. 
one of the more powerful in the hierarchy. It will likely engage you in dialogue and tempt you with an offer. Avoid it. Making deals with demons never turns out well. I'm glad we decided to take this route. This is really the best option. Very well. Who will go into the Fade? Then let us begin forthwith. Have you seen my son? I can... I can hear him, but I cannot find him. This blasted fog has me turning in circles. This is the Fade. Your kind cannot navigate it any more than you could navigate a dream. I don't understand. Where is my Connor? I will find him for you since I foolishly gave my word that I would. Leave me to it. No. No, you're trying to lead me astray. I do not believe you. Connor! Connor, where are you? Blessed art thou who exists in the sight of the Maker. Curse this blasted darkness! Why can I see nothing? you the one that made father in? Tell me now! Shoo! Run along and play! Or whatever. No! You're here to hurt father! I know it! I won't let you! making father sick I'll help him you can't stop me get out of here you have to get out why do you keep hurting me why are you trying to stop me enough of these games give me what I want trespasser I will drive you out I will! 
Anna? Is that you? Please forgive me. Father wonders, seeking me, trapped within my web. All is as it should be. Why must you interfere? Why do you speak through illusions? Come, let us converse. No, it is time for you to go now. Do not persist, or things will go very badly for you. Very well. No more illusions. Now we meet face to face. You see my true form and stand in my domain. It is here I am most powerful. And yet I have no wish to engage your power. Nor should you be so eager to engage mine. Perhaps we should converse instead? I will not become an abomination, no matter what you try. One soul I already possess. I do not need another. You need not fear me on that account. I wish only to talk. Do you take me for a fool? I know better than to bargain with your kind. Alas, that is sad. Very well then. If you wish a battle, you will have it. Let us see if your power matches your boldness, creature.
So it is over. Connor is his old self. He does not seem to remember anything, which is a blessing. I suppose we will need to send him to the Circle of Magi's Tower for... training, once the war is over. It's so odd to think of the boy as a mage, of all things. Eamon has much to mourn and rebuild, should he recover. But at least he could be thankful that both his son and wife are safe. I owe you my deepest thanks. I had nearly... I can scarcely believe Connor is the boy he once was. There is still the matter of Jowan. His poisoning Eamon began this whole mess, yet he lives. I must decide what becomes of him. We will hold him for Eamon to decide his fate. If he doesn't recover, Jowan's fate is sealed. What do you think? What do you mean? He is responsible for many of the problems here, and is a Malefica as well. Perhaps you are correct. But that is Eamon's decision, not mine. I'm sorry. Jowan stays in the dungeon for now. But our task is not done yet. Whatever the demon did to my brother, it seems to have spared his life, but he remains comatose. We cannot wake him. The urn. The urn of sacred ashes will save Eamon. It has been tried, and we will continue trying. Perhaps the demon's absence will make a difference. However, the relic is another option. My husband funded the research of a scholar in Deneram, a brother Genetivi. He has been studying the inscriptions on Andraste's birth rock. When Eamon fell ill, I sent the knights to speak to Genetivi. I hoped that he had finally discovered the location of the urn of sacred ashes itself. They were unable to locate Genetivi. In desperation, I sent more knights in search of the brother, or some clue of the urn's location. I must organize Eamon's knights as they return, draft new soldiers, and prepare the army to fight. I shall hand Redcliffe back to Eamon when he awakens, and in a state where it can be of some use in the coming war. Truly, what other choice do I have? No one else can. Even if I wished to do it myself, I cannot abandon Redcliffe to its own devices. Perhaps you could seek out the brother's home in Denerim and see if any clues remain on his whereabouts. It is the only place to begin the search, I think. I must go to the hall and begin rebuilding. I wish you luck, and may the Maker go with you. I'll get on it. <laughs>